a very well said quote shoot for the moon even if you miss it you will land among the stars but scientists of isro countermanded the statement after making a huge success with the soft landing of chandrayaan 3 the space enthusiasts were never satisfied with one victorious mission and here they announced one more heart throbbing mission just a few days after the launch of chandrayaan 3 The excitement of former is still being played out and here Aditya Elwin arouses new questions. What is Aditya Elwin? Is it India's first sun mission? Why Aditya Elwin will not melt? Hello everyone, let's seek answers to all these questions in this video about Aditya Elwin. India's first solar exploratory mission Aditya Elwin has begun collecting scientific data. Absolutely now the milestone marks another significant step forward for the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO. ISRO has unveiled a remarkable achievement by sharing the inaugural full disk images of the sun in near ultraviolet wavelengths courtesy of the Aditya L1 spacecraft launched earlier this year. बीती रात इसरो ने खुशखबरी दी अपना अंतरिक्ष यान आदित्य एलवन धरती की कक्षा से निकलकर कामयाबी के साथ धरती और सूर्य के बीच मौजूद लैंग रेंज पॉइंट की तरफ पड़ गया है इसरो ने बीती रात करीब दो बजे आदित्य एलवन को पृथ्वी की ऑर्बिट से निकालने के लिए आदित्य एलवन इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन स्पेस मिशन टू स्टडी द सन द मिशन इज एम एट स्टडी द सन फ्रॉम अलो ऑर्बिट around the sun earth langragian point 1 which is about 1.5 kilometers from the earth now it has been asked about the need of aditya elwin so the answer to that is as everyone knows that sun being our nearest star has been studied in great detail it has been observed for over 300 years and solar physics has attained the status of mature and independent discipline in astrophysics Although both the observations and modeling has been improved tremendously over the years there are still a number of outstanding scientific questions that remain unanswered for several decades now the puzzle of what are the sources that heat the chromosphere the transition region and the solar corona above the much cooler photosphere still remains In an attempt to understand some of these mysteries, the first Indian mission to study the sun, Aditya Elwin, is planned with a suit of instruments to obtain a better understanding for the star. It was meant to observe the solar corona. The mission was conceived as a 400 kg glass satellite carrying one payload, the visible emission line coronagraphy. to study the corona from 1.05 to 1.5 solar radii it was planned to be launched in an 800 km sun synchronous orbit with this in view the aditya one mission has been revised to aditya l1 mission the satellite seven payloads will majorly cover three components which are photosphere chromosphere and corona The photosphere consists of ultraviolet UV soft and hard x-rays. Chromosphere and corona includes UV and NIR. In addition, particle payloads will study the particle flux emanating from the sun reaching the Elwin orbit while the magnetometer payload will measure the variation in magnetic field strength at the halo orbit around Elwin. These payloads will make in situ measurements and therefore have to be placed outside the interface from the earth's magnetic field for useful measurements to study the incoming effects from the sun. Since long we are mentioning Elwin, but what is Elwin and why Aditya Elwin is headed to one? PS2 regime is going to be from 2 kilometers per second to 4.9 kilometers per Payload second. Payload fairing separated. payload fairing covering the aditya l1 spacecraft has been separated the current altitude of the launch vehicle is 118 kilometers second stage separated third stage ignited 
द्वितीय चरण को भी सफलतापूर्वक यान से पृथक कर दिया गया है उसके प्रज्वलन काल समाप्त होने पर और तृतीय चरण जो कि ठोस नोदक पर आधारित चरण है इसे इसका प्रज्वलन शुरू हो चुका है The vantage point for such observations is a place in between the sun and earth. Third stage separated. Now we have a successful separation event of the third it stage of PSLV. It is approximately 900 seconds. Plus 10 minutes. तृतीय चरण को सफलतापूर्वक पृथक कर दिया गया है और अब पी एस फोर कोस्टिंग फेज पर है इस दौरान कोई भी प्रणोद उत्पन्न नहीं हो रहा है यान प्राप्त संवेद से आगे बढ़ता हुआ और निर्धारित पद का अनुकरण करता हुआ जा रहा है अब तक कुल बाईस सौर मिशनों को नासा ईसा चंद्रेटेड और जिसका इंतजार था वह पल आ चुका है इसकी पुष्टि कर दी गई है आदित्य एल वन आदित्य एल वन मिशन हैंडिंग ओवर टू मिशन डायरेक्टर सो बेसिकली एल वन स्टैंड फॉर लैग्रेंज पॉइंट वन दीज पॉइंट आर दो यूनिक पॉइंट इन स्पेस विद ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ टू सिलेस्टल बॉडीज बैलेंस आउट इफ वी कंसिडर द सन एंड अर्थ वी गेट फाइव लैग्रेंज पॉइंट The Elvin point was discovered by astronomer Joseph Louis Lagrange. It is considered the most significant point as it has the major advantage of continuously viewing the sun without any eclipses. This also provides a greater advantage of observing solar activities and their effect on space whether in real time confirmed by ISRO. Prior to this one, solar observation from various space agency was stationed at L1. Due to their proximity to Earth, Lagrange point L1 and L2 are the most significant. Now, let's talk about the launch of Aditya L1. Aditya L1 is named after the Surya, the Hindu god of sun, who is also known as Aditya. It was launched on September 2, 2023, Saturday at 11:50 Indian time. It was lifted off from the launch pad at Sriharikota. It will travel 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. That is 1% of the Earth-Sun distance. Indian Space Agency says it will take four months to travel that far. On Saturday morning, a few thousand people gathered in the viewing gallery set up by the ISRO near the launch site to watch the blast off. It was also broadcast live on national TV, where commentators described it as a magnificent launch. ISRO scientists said that the launch had been successful and its performance is normal. After an hour and 4 minutes of flight time, ISRO declared its mission successful. ISRO chief Sridhara Panikkar Somnath said, "Now it will continue on its journey. It is a very long journey of 135 days. Let's wish it best of luck." The space agency added that the Hell 1 OS commissioned on October 27 is set to monitor the sun's high energy x-ray activity with fast timing and high resolution spectra helven os data enabled researcher to study the explosive energy release and electron acceleration during impulsive phases of solar flares helven os was developed by the space astronomy group of the ua rao satellite center isro bengaluru now let's come to the conclusion Aditya L1 will arrive at the L1 point in January 2024 and the satellite will spend its mission life orbiting around L1 in an irregular shape orbit. If Aditya L1 is successful, India will join the select group of countries that are already studying the sun. The mission will above all help improve our scientific understanding of the sun, the 4.5 billion year old star that holds the solar system together. Thank you.